how to study for UPSC civil services examination. Uh, now this question uh, we have to discuss with reference to three parts of this uh, examination that is preliminary examination, mains examination and personality test. So first part that is preliminary examination which is only objective in nature. My first advice will be there for you, those who are preparing for UPSC civil services examination, they must think of only and only preliminary examination first. Don't think for mains and interview at a time. Okay, so let us uh, get segregated. First, we are going to discuss about preliminary examination. So, focus on preliminary examination. Uh, you can purchase any manual <clears throat> from market or even on certain websites uh, or apps, you will get this type of book that is manual for UPSC civil services examination. So like that, any one manual uh, you have to purchase. Now, after purchasing that manual, uh, start studying out that manual. Say manual is not detailed. Okay, it is not the solution, but you will get idea about the topics. You will get entry in the topics from that manual. This is first stage. Uh, that manual is having something 1000 or 1500 pages. So if you are going to read out that all pages and able to grasp the data, then it will be all right. Then start second level, that is reading of reference books. Yet I'm not talking about NCRT books. Okay. So start reading about reference books. Say for example, in case of history, you are preparing for uh, history, then I may recommend you that okay, you can read a book that is uh, written by R.C. Mujumdar. So that is a reference book. Like that various books you have to refer uh, depending upon the topics, uh, you have to refer the books. The third thing you have to read NCRT books. All right. So why NCRT? Because many times certain uh, confusing data is there. Everywhere you will get this type of confusing data. Uh, say for example, how many ball and socket joints are present in human body. Some books are saying 4 and some books are saying 6. They are considering pelvic girdle and pectoral girdle only. But in some reference you have to consider uh, mandilla, uh, mag uh, maxilla mandible joint also. And then uh, Real answer you have to consider from NCRT book. Whatever is given in the NCRT book that you have to consider as a true answer. And therefore, it is recommended that after reading all these things, you have to go through uh, NCRT books. Okay. So this is about reading. This is for preliminary examination, but only reading is not sufficient. It depends on person to person. A person like me, I believe in only reading. Uh, my technique is very very simple you can also follow if you are able to follow it is not necessary that every time a person A is doing this that means it is correct no may be possible person B will have another approach okay so what I am preferring of that I will go I am uh, going to tell so read the book uh, there are different topics so for example if I want, uh, I want to discuss about chemistry I want to discuss about space science I want to discuss about physics or even I want to discuss about geography, particularly season cycle and all that region, uh, reason that we have to use your reasoning power, you have to use your analytical power, understanding all that. At that time, uh, only reading is not sufficient. But if you want to uh, carry out topics like history, sociology, uh, political science, then reading is also sufficient. Start reading. Without Understanding also, but start reading. This is your first reading. Speed. 
in the reading is essential. Read that uh, whatever the book in front of you. Keep it aside for at least one week. Now don't, uh, after completion of this reading, don't go for second reading. Immediately. After a week, start reading out a second time. This is very very essential. That when you are going to read second time, you will recollect that okay, I have read just one week ago or two weeks ago I have uh, read. And then you will get automatically data feed in your brain. Now keep that book aside after second reading. Aside. Uh, maybe possible one week, two week, three weeks or even months till that study something else. And then that uh, you have to read that book again third time. Here your data get fixed in your mind, perfect data. So this is the technique uh, for subjects where uh, understanding is not required to great extent, but data feeding is really important. You can go by this method. Now we are going to discuss second topic that uh, how to prepare for mains because many students are having doubt in mind that uh, after completion of your prelim examination and after opening out results, uh, time gap between mains examination and uh, result of prelim is very less. Uh, the answer is that yes, it is true. But uh, you can consider this way that while preparing for prelim, you can start your note making. Okay. So that note making is a powerful tool. If you are not believing in reading only, then this is the powerful tool. And uh, practice for mains, this is important. What you have to do, say for example, I am teaching about uh, say Raja Raja Chol, a prominent king from Chola dynasty. So I will give you some information over here. Uh, you have to take down that, then open out reference books. And from that you have to gather important point of Raja Raja Chol and then you have to write it down. So your notes about Raja Raja Chol, the great emperor in South India. Uh, you will get able to study data everything that is fixed in your mind. Now like that you can prepare notes for each and everything and then uh, go through UPSC men's paper. They are asking you question say you have to explain in about 250 words or like that. Once you have database then you can use it according to your requirement plus point minus point like that you can take out and therefore, it is highly essential that understanding of the concept rather than that mugging up the questions. Uh, some students are uh, saying this way that I am biting one liner, two liner and all that questions. So no need to uh, do that. But keep in mind that important things. Say for example, if you are talking about a solar eclipse, then at that time what is the position of sun, what is the position of moon, whether sun is at uh, that means earth is at apogee, uh, uphelion position or perihelion position. Moon is at apogee or perigee. Then we can predict about solar eclipse, whether it will be a partial solar eclipse or it is hybrid solar eclipse or it is annular solar eclipse or it is total solar eclipse like that various possibilities are there. If you are able to understand the concept, then you can write it very easily. So my advice to you that start making notes and try to get understand the concept that is really essential. So uh, for men's your study that is for general studies separate. Essay writing. Uh, you can start out essay writing. Uh, you can take out subjects. Your own subject, previous year's paper subject and try to write down essay. Because ultimately, if you are going through the subjects, uh, science and technology, economics, political science, like that based subjects are there. Uh, even some essays are there discussed on our YouTube channel that is Savarkar I study circle, old uh, essays, some three or four essays I have discussed uh, in old days. So you can check out the, the, them also. Now for main important thing about optional subject. In old syllabus, optional subjects subjects very important because they were having at that time two optional subjects but now only one optional subject is there and that is also for 500 marks so wattage is very less for optional subject and uh, as i have recommended and 
uh, in previous sessions also and always i recommend you that uh, if say for example myself my graduation is there in chemistry so i would select chemistry for uh, optional subject instead of that if i am going to say all right i studied zoology in sybsc so i will go for zoology it is bit difficult because it requires graduation plus one level knowledge and if i am saying that okay till 12th standard i was having physics so i can go for physics also so it will be very very difficult for me to cop up physics at msc part 1 level and therefore it is recommended that you select the subject optional subject that is of your graduation but if you are that unfortunate that whatever your graduation subject is there that is not in the list of upsc uh, mains subject optional subject then you have to select a subject which will be there closer to your subject okay and you have to study that for graduation plus one level so this way you can prepare for mains the important thing i must say that uh, instead of how many hours you are studying out is not that important but whatever you are going to study that you are able to keep in mind thoroughly that is really important from mains point of view